Now to Australia, where goodbyes were in the air when the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh visited Fremantle University. Strolling in the grounds on one of the last engagements of the tour, there was time for just one more royal presentation. Australia was saying farewell, and because, owing to polio precautions, the traditional handshakes were missing, it was a farewell that truly came from the heart. Thanks to Prime Minister Menzies, who was so apt to describe the tour as an inspiration and a joy. A similar message for the Governor-General, Field Marshal Sir William Slim and Lady Slim. For two months, the royal visitors had not spared themselves as they toured teeming cities and the lonely outback. Now, as the Queen and the Duke went aboard the Gothic, amid cheers that mingled with songs and invitations to return, Australians knew that the crown was indeed more than a symbol. It was a human link that bound a vast commonwealth in brotherhood. Last goodbyes from the Gothic as she steamed out of the harbour, bound for the Cocos Islands, 1,900 miles away in the Indian Ocean. And on the North Mole at the harbour entrance, the outermost vantage point, Australia's last farewell was answered by a queen, homeward bound from the land of the Southern Cross. <laughs>